Hello fellow commanders and welcome to another Strategic Command World War II with me, Bubblebox. Let's end turn and pick up where we left the last turn with Barbarossa occurring. East Italian East Africa surrenders. Okay. Fine. We've got some special operations executive. It has now been operating since the summer of 1940 but so far it has had little impact. So we can up the SOE if we want, up the effectiveness of the SOE. It's going to cost us 100 points at 20 points per five turns. Would you like to do that? I think we do. There are some notes with that if you want to read them. But I think I'm definitely going to accept that so the Special Operations Executive can get to work in Europe. America's got a choice to make as well. Now that the USSR have entered the war, we could assist her in her struggle by shipping supplies through the Pacific to Vladivostok in the Far East. So that's going to cost the Americans 80, but the, although the Russians only get 40 of the 80. But I think we're going to do that because we want to help the Russians out. I think there are some notes with this one. So it's, it does strongly recommend us to say yes to that one. So we are going to say yes to that choice right there. Papit Garrison deploys in French Polynesia. That secures that one a little bit. And uh, we also start our Arctic convoys to the USSR as well. HMS Illustrious gets a, a point or two knocked off of her and Roosevelt broadcasts warning, warnings of danger of a Nazi victory in Europe. We've got the Brits moving forward advanced fighters. India gets industrial technology level 2. No interdictions this turn. Remember we did take one of their subs down to a low health level. No, we destroyed actually a sub in the Atlantic in the last episode, didn't we? Joint declaration by Churchill and Roosevelt as a first statement of war aim. So the Americans getting closer towards joining in. <clears throat> Italy now declares war on Greece, as we expected they would do. So we've got to delay in uh, the uh, Germans and Italians in Greece for as long as we possibly can. We're going to try and try and land a British unit in um, Greece to help out, I think. As the Japanese did actually pull back a little bit. We've, we pushed this unit, remember, in Japan, right up in the north, which has left it in a really precarious situation, but it has caused them to pull back a little bit there as the Japanese uh, Navy are helping out a little bit with doing a bit of bombing. There goes one of those pesky subs. The German surface raider here, or surface ship, has run into the, Itali the uh, um, Russian sub as the other German ship goes looking for the rest of the uh, Russian Navy which you want to try and keep alive for as long as possible our fighters doing a bit of defending in uh, China we did get a couple of nice armies into China in the last turn which are going to help a lot by to preserve that front line Stukas doing their thing. There's an Italian tank there as well, up in the north of Germ north of uh, Russia. There's that that's a tactical bomber for the uh, Italians over there. Oh, this this core's looking a bit dodgy on the corner there. So we do know now that the Italians have got two tactical, well, I think it's a tactical bomber and a medium bomber now. <clears throat> Don't know how they are off the fighters. I think they've definitely got one, unless we destroyed it earlier on in the game. I can't quite remember. Yeah, this guy and this corps are in big trouble. This army, though, in Minsk is quite well dug in, so that's going to take a little bit of getting out of the way. Germans making a little bit of headway, but again the militia slowing them down, making them use up the making the Panzers use up their um, shots. We just need to delay them until the beginning of the first winter. Another two shots there from the Panzer, and another nice delay. A German Panzer though in Greece. Two German Panzers in Greece. Wow. Okay, that's. Uh, 
That's going to help the Russians out if the Germans got two panzers in Greece. Okay, a little bit of movement forward in the centre. And in the north. And that little Russian, uh, little um, Italian tank doing its thing. Okay, I need these to hold for quite a long time. They're quite well dug in. And they've got a river. They did take a shot there though. Up against the German army with one... With uh, just one. These Italians, you can see, they're starting to get their uh, get up to value two now, so they're quite strong. Lots of shuffling around, and we've got uh, one of our cores got shattered, unfortunately. Now it might be worth pulling back there. We'll have a look when it's our turn. It might be worth starting to pull back so we can try and get the Chinese involved, the communist Chinese involved. Another militia down. Another core under pressure here on the on the edge. Going to go down a bit of the army, down to four health. And this core, which I made a mistake of moving forward towards Peking in the last turn, has indeed. So we lost two cores already in this turn. This army is under pressure as well. It's really difficult position. I can't really get it out of there. And it's going to die. We're going to lose three units. Wow. Okay. That's not a good go for the Chinese. One army and two cores uh, down in this turn. <clears throat> I think it's definitely time for a bit of a tactical withdrawal in a couple of places on the uh, Chinese-Japanese front. Meanwhile back in Russia. This core, I uh, haven't killed off this uh, army unit yet though. This uh, command unit yet though. Oh no, oh, didn't attack the command unit. Still there, that core protecting the command unit. Another core comes forward. Another army coming forward, destroys that unit finally. A little light tank getting attacked. Holding off quite nicely. And we've still got that militia unit in in the fort there, doing a decent job, just holding back, holding back quite a lot of units. Again, delaying, delaying, delaying. Will it go down this time? It probably will. Yeah. But it delayed all of those infantry units from moving forward, and may have saved the life of that headquarters. Nice. AT guns moving in for a go. Gets takes a bit of damage. Okay, so these are the units we want to keep alive now. The ones that are dug in, but I do want to keep them alive. So I'll probably start to operate the units from Manchuria over this turn. So Memel Falls. Kiev should survive this turn. And lots of German units attacking into Greece. Wow. <coughs> We've got a Greek uh, cruiser as well, which we should try and use to maybe hunt down those Italian um, just, uh, Italian um, subs. So it looks like we're into movement phase. Everything's going to start just moving forward, getting itself in position now where they can. So it's midsummer now. Germans making a bit of progress. But not too much. Headquarters moving into position. Just moving their fleets around. The Brits will keep concentrating on the Italians, I think, for the next few turns. Although it might be useful to try and get the Brits to try to engage somehow with the German fleet 
to help out the uh, Russian fleet. Chinese uh, morale suffers a little bit. Partisans active in Manchuria, good. Axis military activity hinders Allied supply on Crete. Greek morale suffers as their president commits suicide. Axis arrive raises up Norway to German. That's us. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there's all the losses. Those three Chinese losses were a bit of a blow. Lots of uh, Greek losses as well. Just a bit of intel to go through. Oh, hello. Is that that one that's on low health? I hope it is. Okay, so we've got uh, four garrison units to put down as well this turn. So let's just investigate this with our more healthy destroyer. Oh no, it's a full, fully healthed up one. So I think this destroyer is going to... Oh, can I plane reach? Yes, nice. It's a shame we didn't upgrade our plane. We can't do everything, though. Let's send that back to port. We'll send this back to there. Yeah, just to there. Do we have any other destroyers down and around here? Uh, no, is the answer. Any more interdictions? Nope, nope, nope. Let's do the Brits uh, down here in, in East Africa, then. So we've got all of these guys here to start moving up towards Addis Ababa. Um... I'll move this tank. In fact, we'll do a shot with this tank just to start getting rid of their dug-in value. We'll take a few losses, but that gets them their entrenchment down a little bit. We'll move this core a bit closer and we'll move this guy a bit closer. Get this plane across a little bit more. And then we'll just move these chaps. In fact, do we need to upgrade first? Yeah, we need to upgrade to infantry level 2. Oh, these guys, I should have upgraded them as well. Can I move them away? A t yeah, we'll move them away a turn. I want to upgrade them to infantry level 2. We'll upgrade these guys to infantry level 2 as well. And we'll start to move this leader forward. This chap can come and join in the fun as well. Now then, two subs. We need to try and get a unit, perhaps. Oh, I wanted... Ah. Oh. Yeah. Let's just hunt for any subs that might be sneaking around the place. So I'd like to get an army over towards Athens. So we're going to transport. Yes. Oh, it can reach. It can reach all that way. So let's move this core. Or I could just upgrade this. Let's just see where this army will land. It will go into there. Let's unload this into there. Let's upgrade this Greek one with infantry two. It doesn't really need anti or oh, it might need anti-air actually. There's a lot of bombers over there. So we'll do that. We'll also actually send Ah, oh, can't reach. We need a fighter over there, don't we? I should have upgraded it earlier, but we'll send a fighter to there. Then we'll send it over to Crete and then it can provide a bit of air support. This chap here, we're going to reinforce, and then we're going to upgrade him, and then we're going to send him across to Greece as well. Um, we need to find these subs. Which don't seem to seem to have hidden themselves quite well. They're not in there either. Okay, fine. Oh, there's that bomber. Can we actually have a little attack on that with our aircraft? We could. If we get a bit closer. Yeah, let's have a little attack. It's got some escorts as well. We might as well try and do a little bit of damage to it. Is it actually a maritime bomber? Is that a maritime bomber? No, it's a medium bomber. Okay. Didn't do it any damage. Well, that's a pain in the ass. Let's try again. Okay, one damage that time. Let's move back into harbour. Um, should we have another little look for some... Did I check Rome out? No, nothing in Rome. Don't know where their subs are. 
We've got one more. Let's upgrade this chap. This destroyer. As much as we can. We need to take over the med. Oh, that was the... Uh, oh, that's the Canadian chap, isn't it? Yeah. Now then. Um... We'll move. Oh, we could try and get another unit into Greece, I suppose. It does mean we're kind of putting off our attack into Sicily, but let's just try and defend Greece for a little bit as well. I've got a core in Palermo, and they've probably got something in Syracuse as well. Right. What else can we do? We've got 206... No, we haven't. We've got 161 points. Do we need to do any research for the Brits? No, not this turn. So let's see. What can we do up here? I'm thinking that we could... try to entice out some of their surface vessels if we put... The trouble is our ships aren't that upgraded to respond if they attack our destroyers to respond with our other ships. Let's do it anyway. I think we need to help out the Russians as much as possible. So we're going to put this onto raid mode and we're going to stick that right there. The sub will kind of protect it from coming down that way. And then we'll get this guy to do the same thing on raid mode. Down to there. Now then, I want some destroyers in position ready. So let's put this destroyer just down. We'll put that into this so we can zip across there real quick if their surface ships come out. This is a nicely upgraded one as well. So we'll put that down into this harbour. This chap, what we'll do is we'll give him an upgrade. Like that. Cool. Takes our points down though. We'll bring this other destroyer down as well. We'll put that on Raider. We'll bring that down also. Okay. Um, move that forward. We've got another destroyer here. Which I'm going to put up just over to there to protect from any yeah we'll put that down in the middle here somewhere protect from to it from any uh, subs coming to attack our battleships and that um, we'll maybe try and upgrade this chap as well let's see can we upgrade him heavy cruiser yeah give him all the upgrades still got 22 points I think we'll leave it there. Got our medium bomber here, which could do with an upgrade. Can we get long range and naval weaponry? No. Uh, I'm just going to get long range. We'll have to get naval weaponry next time. So we'll okay that. That can also protect a little bit. We've got long range. I don't know how well long range, how longer range long range is, but uh, we might find out. So that's it really for the Brits. American research needs to be done, I expect. Uh, nope, we're fully researched, so we're going to do a purchase for the Americans, and we're just going to keep getting those subs. Keep purchasing those subs. How can we get? Nope, just another one, and then we can do the Indians. Get some research done for India. Indian research, we're going to do. Should we keep upgrading the fighters? Are they going to get tanks? We're definitely going to get infantry. I think they're going to get tanks and yeah when their time comes they will be able to get quite a few units so we'll start getting the tanks teched up for the Indians then we'll do the uh, Chinese next now there's decision time for the Chinese first of all we're going to do a bit of a pullback probably um, we want to get Yan'an involved in the battle and um, we can we also want to try to defend down here a little bit if we can down here is not looking too bad this guy is looking in terrible shape. I'm wondering whether to pull back from here. 
and make the defense here. Hmm, I can't really pull them back too far though. Um, let's pull back. Let's just pull that back. To, oh no, it's not going to work, is it? Hmm. It's not really going to. Oh shit. I think I've cocked up a little bit here. I'm going to pull that back to there and hope he survives. We've got a full unit here which I'm going to put uh, do you know what I don't know what to do here this guy is going to need I'm going to attack here just take that chap down a few points and then I'm going to kind of just reinforce everybody else I think we'll reinforce there we'll reinforce there and we'll reinforce there. Okay, now he is looking a bit dodgy as well. Let's reinforce this army. Down to 20 points already. Pulling this chap right back. These guys probably okay for another turn. I'm tempted to move forward and attack that aircraft. I think I'm going to do that with this chap. Oh wow, that was a bit of a waste. Move this guy up there and attack this army. Take that down a few points. And I'm going to move this chap onto there. And move this chap to protect that flank. I don't think they can get into this here, this uh, mountain, to get Yanku. But I'm not that bothered if they do, because that will help us bring the communists into the fold. We're going to reinforce our aircraft, like we normally do. I'm going to pull this guy back a little bit out of harm's way what else how many points we got left only seven oh let's up can we upgrade anything no i think that's it i think that's it for the chinese i think that's all we're going to be able to do we can reinforce this guy maybe yep just do that that's pretty much it i think pull this guy back yeah that'll do so now then on to the Russian front where it's all happening we've got some new units to put in how many have we got we've got one two four militia units to put down let's just have a look at these guys first can we do a shot here oh wow four points let's take that nice and then we're going to just reposition it oh god it's just running to the rest of the German fleet Okay, well they know where that is now. Can we take a shot there? We can. Let's take that shot. Not far off destroying that. Now I could pop out and take a shot, but I'm going to keep my destroyer, I think, in uh, safety there. Now this bomber might be able to destroy this cruiser. Yes, very nice. A little bit of national morale bonus for the Russians as well. That's a bit of, that is a definite bonus for us there. Could do with this leader getting down and helping out down near the front. So we're going to start to bring this leader forward and um, we're going to leave a core on Leningrad I think or actually I could just put a militia unit on Leningrad no we'll leave a core because those in fact I'm going to put this there just in case those pesky Finns join in and think speaking of that how far off that what are the Finns doing diplomacy wise let's have a quick check um, Finland 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 I 15% towards the axis, that's not too bad. Uh, we could also, they've got three chits for the Russians to use as well. We could start converting something over to us, maybe. We might think about doing that in the next turn. Right, these are okay. The line of defence there is looking very, very solid. Can we get this leader back? We can get it back to there. Do we leave this guy here? Ah, uh, he is got he has got maximum entrenchment. I'm going to leave him there. He might get surrounded or even die, but I'm going to leave him there. It also means we can get we've got this leader going back down here. Really, this guy is could be in all sorts of problems if I don't bring him back, and so could this guy. They're going to get surrounded if I don't bring them back. As is this chap here. 
I'm so tempted to pull them back. Let's put this do this militia first. Let's upgrade to a garrison there. How far the heck far are we away from infantry two for the Russians? Not very far. If I leave these three cores, I think they're gonna die. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them there. And I'm gonna operate across some extra units, I think. Yeah. Let's just, while I'm thinking about it, we're going to upgrade this line of defence here. Okay, we'll upgrade this one. Okay. But I don't, I want them to force through the centre line here. And I want them to force through here to a certain extent as well, but not get to the, um, I want them to push through a little bit here, maybe up to, up to Stalingrad, but not into Stalingrad, but I do want to hold on to all the, all the um, oil. So let's just reinforce this guy and we'll upgrade these because they could reach here this turn. So we'll upgrade these guys. Right, now then. Let's get our extra units. Let's see. So we've got how many cores was it? Three? Four. Four militia. Four militia, sorry. Right. So we can put one on Kharkov to delay there a little bit. We'll put one on Taranroga to delay there. We'll put one on Stellano, whatever that is. And we've got one left. Where do we want to delay? Now we could put it there just to try to protect this leader a little bit. And I think I'm going to do that. We'll put that one there. Super. That leaves us with 475 points. Now one person I do want to bring over from back over in... Uh, Manchuria. I want to bring over good old Zhukov here. Zhukov is going to come over. Where shall we use him? Now then. I want him somewhere reasonably safe but fairly useful. I'm going to put him here for now and then we can pull him back behind these two when need be. So Zhukov can be in the south protecting Stalingrad, being in control of protecting Stalingrad and the oil fields. Um, I've also got some other nice units back here. We'll, tanks, we might bring them in a bit later. Got a nice army here as well. In fact, let's just give that some elite reinforcements and think about bringing that in next turn. And the same there. So it'll give us a chance just to give these elite reinforcements and we can bring these in. That needs to be somewhere there. This plane I'd like forward, so let's operate this fighter. Where do we want a fighter? We haven't got any fighters in the south. So again, we'll put that just near Zhukov somewhere to help out in the south there, to do a bit of intercepting, hopefully, and lessen the effect of their bombers. Um, hold on, was that a bomber or a fighter? I think I'll just put the fighter bomber forward. Let's bring the fighter as well. Shit. Okay, never mind. Another mistake. Yeah, that was the bomber. Okay, we'll bring the fighter up as well. Oh, what happened there? Did I click the wrong button? Operate. Yes, I think I clicked the wrong button. Right, let's put you... Where was it? Just there. Nice. So that's a bomber and a fighter in the south now. Um, what else do we want to do? Um, we've still got 275 points. I'm going to purchase... Some more of those really cheap militia unit garrison units. So we're going to get a bunch of these to finish with. Shall I get them with level one? They might be a little bit more resistant. I think I will this time. So we'll get them all with level ones. As many as we can for the rest of our points. Keep delaying until that first winter sets in. Okay. Good. I think that's all the points spent. We've still got that destroyer to bring in. But I'm not going to bring it in on this turn, I don't think. Nope. Um, can I reinforce these? Nope. Can't do anything else. So I think that's about it until the next turn. So time is running amok. So I think I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We're ready for the next turn and the next German uh, uh, attack into Russia which is uh, becoming really really interesting at the moment I think we're holding fairly well if you do en did enjoy this episode please do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more leave any comments as well a few people are starting to leave comments which is really good 
really keeps my interest and uh, um, it's good to interact and get your views on the game and on what I'm doing badly, what I'm doing well and that sort of thing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.